In this Learning Bytes video, for Windows Small Business Server 2011 standard, we'll take a look at adding and managing storage in the SBS environment. Here in the SBS console, we can manage our storage using the Backup and Server Storage tab. There are two sub-tabs, including Backup and then Server Storage. At the moment, I only have one hard drive configured for this server. When you add a physical hard drive to the server, your next step is to let Windows Server know that it exists. So for that, we're going to go into the Windows Server Manager and into the Disk Management Console. Here you can see that I have a, a 100 gigabyte disk, but it hasn't been formatted. So let's go ahead and do that now. I'm going to create a new simple volume and just quickly walk through the standard wizard for adding a hard drive into a Windows Server environment. I'm going to go ahead and simply do a quick format as an NTFS partition, and we'll just leave new volume as the label. And because it's a quick format, it will only take a few seconds. Now we can go back to the SPS console, refresh our server storage page, and see that we have two volumes. At this point, we can go back to our system volume and see that all of the data for the SPS server is being stored on the system drive. So this simplifies the SPS setup process but it's probably not something that you want long-term for a production server. In the server storage tasks, we can see that it's very easy to move the server data from one hard drive to another. As an example, let's go ahead and move the Exchange server data. In previous versions of SBS, this was a long, tedious white paper that you had to go through manually, but now we have a set of wizards that really make it simple to move data around as you add and manage the server storage in your physical server. So of course we have our getting started page just like we do with all the SBS wizards. We also have a link to get more information if you want to dive deeper into the topic. Let's go ahead and click next and the wizard will check our server and find out which volumes are available for storing data. Now as a quick warning before you start moving data around, the wizard will prompt you to back up your data. So this is a good idea if you're doing any major changes to your environment is to make sure you have a very recent backup. As you can see, I've created a backup not very long ago, so I'm going to go ahead and skip that step for now. Now, as we can see, the current location for the Exchange server data is on the C drive, and then I only have one additional drive available, so that is where we can move the data to. So using the wizard makes it very fast and very easy to make sure all the different aspects of migrating this data is taken care of so that all the I's are dotted and all the T's are crossed and we're confident and comfortable that everything has been taken care of as it should be according to best practices. And that's all there is to adding data to an SBS server environment and moving data around for the different physical volumes. So I hope you found this Learning Byte helpful and I hope to see you for future Learning Byte sessions.